Well, you can see that we have a beautiful community here in Valencia Isles, and perhaps now is a good time to explain a little bit about how Valencia Isles is managed and governed, and how you, as a homeowner, play an important role in this process. All HOAs are subject to state regulations, as well as their own governing documents. Let me take some time to briefly go over the statutes and governing documents that pertain to Valencia Isles. First up, and most importantly, are the state laws governing HOAs. They can be found in Chapter 720 of the Florida Statutes, and they cover every aspect of how HOAs must operate in the state of Florida. And they can be easily found on the internet by simply searching for 720 Florida Statutes. The next important document that residents should become familiar with is the Declaration of Covenants, Restrictions, and Easements for Valencia Isles, also known as the Declaration or the Covenants, take your pick, I'm going to use the Declaration for purposes of this video. Think of the Declaration as our Constitution. It lays out the rules, regulations, and procedures by which Valencia Isles is governed, and it outlines both the rights and responsibilities of association members. It also importantly provides the framework for the association to operate in by delineating both the powers and the limitations of a board of directors which is the governing body of an association. You can find the declaration on our website. Right on the home page, if you scroll down, you'll see a blue box titled Resource Center, which will bring you to association documents. And here you'll find a lot of important documents and I encourage exploration. But if you're just looking for the declaration, we're gonna to go to, down to governing documents and the very last entry should be a PDF of the Declaration of Valencia Isles or the Valencia Isles Covenants as they're titled here. I should also mention the document you'll be looking at has been amended a number of times over the years and those changes have not been incorporated into the document you're looking at. But you can find all the amendments listed above with a brief description of what they pertain to. The next document in our governing documents that we come to is the Articles of Incorporation. The Articles of Incorporation basically just establishes the association's existence, its name, business address, purpose, etc., and identifies the essential elements of the association. It is filed with the Secretary of State upon incorporation. Next up are the bylaws of the association. The bylaws provide the procedures for how the association is internally governed. The bylaws outline detailed information about how meetings are called, how frequently, how offices and directors are elected, and proxy and quorum requirements. And finally, we have the rules and regulations, which supplement the restrictions in the declaration and typically address matters of everyday policy, such as parking or use of the community's recreational facilities. So to recap, Chapter 720 of the Florida Statutes, which once again are the relevant state laws governing HOAs, identifies an HOA's governing documents to be the following. The Declaration of Covenants, the Articles of Incorporation, the Bylaws, and the Rules and Regulations. And should there be any conflict among these various documents, the document higher up on this list has precedence and priority. For instance, our declaration can't violate any of the statutes in Chapter 720, and any bylaw must be consistent with what's in the declaration. So these are the documents that a responsible homeowner would want to familiarize themselves with. You may not want to read them from cover to cover, despite how scintillating they are, but you should at least get an idea of what is in each document, so that if you do want more clarity in a particular area, you'll know where to look.